Hey, what's going on, Rattlers? So you may recognize this place. This is Iguana Land, and I've been down here at Ty Park's place a number of times, especially for Iguana Fest. And I filmed videos on what Ty is building here at his farm, but now Ty Park is taking this to a completely new level with his brand new zoo, Iguana Land. So I'm down here with Clint from Clint's Reptiles, and we're gonna get a tour to see how Iguana Land is coming along and what it takes to build one of the world's largest reptile zoos. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at this. You know, seeing all this like on your Facebook updates and whatever, yeah. it doesn't yeah. do it justice to actually be here. Yeah, and see it's this. huge. I mean, it really doesn't. Yeah. So basically, this is for employees, right? So, employees. Yeah, we right. go back. So this would be like this, and there'd be murals all around. Okay. So I'm doing murals. Uh, the cages on this side, cages all around. You'll be surrounded by look cages when they come out. Right. That refrigerator will be gone. We finally got a new refrigerator. I'm gonna have two more, two more cages. Gotcha. So basically, I have in here we're gonna have Cyclora recordi, one of the rarest species. Nice. And we're gonna have, believe it or not, we're gonna get Cyclora penguins, which there's only 15 in the whole U.S. Can I walk in? Oh yeah, of course. See, wait, we're gonna seal you in, enough. and it's gonna be the Clint's reptile Honestly, exhibit. I'm not sure I have ever been in an enclosure. I would be happier to have as <laughs> my enclosure. You're inside the apartment. That's right. That's right. All right, but this is the enclosure that's I want to go in right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you could go in there, of course. Uh, this has, uh, you know, obviously, um, that's Irwin. I'm very excited Probably about Irwin. Probably there's only about four Jews in the whole world, I think. Who, I mean, whole world, I'm sorry, USA that has parentes. I in know US. of one other that has parentes, right. actually. And I think in the U.S. is rarer than... Uh, much rarer than Komodos. Yeah, Komodo. That's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Much a lot rarer. of dudes have Komodos. Yeah. Right. So, all right, so the rest of this room is going to be a picnic area. Yeah, this will be sitting area. There'll be beautiful murals up there. I still need to get a, a oh. I'm decided on the mural, muralist. There'll be a mural over there, a mural over there. This so basically awesome. when you come out, you're going to be surrounded by these big cages where we're going to have a frill. I'm going to have Australian frill dragon in there. These two units over here, I'm gonna build a refrigerator center. So I'm gonna have Bolin, Python, and Parson like Chameleon, because they need to be cool. All cool, right. right? So, so that refrigerator is gonna go, there'll be two cages over there for that. So now this whole pond area here is brand new. Yeah, this is, we built the pond. We're gonna have railing here. This will be like a park, all right? Nice. I'm gonna have a, a huge uh, gazebo here, okay? So what animals will be out here? Ah, uh, there'd be all, this is my Chelonians here. I'm going to show you the turtles oh, and tortoises oh, yeah. over here. Yeah. Okay. But look at this, you got already koi in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are all from Japan. Um, I ordered 50 of them, and one of them died and moved, so there's 49 in here. 49? Yeah. I'm going to put in native turtles in here. Nice. And I'm going to have a little coin machine where people could feed them. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it's over here. Within the next three months, this place is probably be most, mostly done. We got the bathroom going in. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Hopefully we are open by early spring, which means hopefully by March, April we'll be open. Very nice. And how long, I don't even remember when you started this. Yeah. Well, I decided to do, just open it to public, uh, probably about a year, a little that's, more than a year That's ago. what I thought it was, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. More than a year ago. Look at how far you've come in a year. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm so impatient, I want it to go fast. Right? Yeah. yeah. So basically, you now welcome to Land so on this side, this is seven feet by ten feet. All right, and of course we have well water running all the time. That's that's the drain. There's a drain system underneath that goes into a uh, sump, and then that there's a pump in there. Pump it out to that pond. 
Okay. Fantastic. This gives you kind of an idea of the enclosures you're building. You have the dry part back right. there, the pond up right. here. And constant running water. Constant running water so that, that water stays nice and clean. Right. And if if you want to clean it, all you have to do is pull that out. Everything will get clean, wash it out, and fill it back. A lot of things we're going to do, a lot of things that we do extra are going to go to conservation work. Like for instance, in the back, we're going to separate the breeding area, like so a breeding area, right? And we're probably going to charge about $10 for guided tour, and 100% of it will go to the conservation work. Gotcha. So my goal is to give $100,000 to iguana conservation, $100,000 to turtle conservation, and about 50000 left for the other conservation. So $250,000. I want to be able to raise every year for conservation work. Ty, that's what makes you awesome. Oh, I don't know about that. That is, that is our goal. really building the uh -huh. world's biggest reptile zoo here. It will be the, okay, so there's one zoo in South Rapid, Dakota? Rapid yeah. City, South, right, Rapid right, City, yeah, right, right, right. I believe yep, they have like gardens. 270 species, that's, they're listed as the world's uh, largest species-wise. Yeah. Uh, and I think the venomous snakes. Why, why, why? Yeah, they do. So they I think do. we're gonna probably start out with maybe 300 different species to start with. Totals and turtles alone, you'd be about 150 different species. Right. This is gonna be all tortoises here, okay? So we're gonna build a 16 foot by 10 foot tortoise pens all the way down this way. There'll be tortoises here. Now in this enclosure, I see you have two boards here. Um, right. You have these for herpers to come and flip those, right? Uh, no. Oh, well. I have no idea why they're there. Oh, well. Have you ever flipped them? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm no, coming in here. I'm flipping them. Yeah, but they probably be Nothing in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I cannot see a board without flipping it. So, yeah. yeah. So basically, we have the waterfall up there. We have filters to that mound up there. Yep. There's a filter under there. That's automatic water uh, fill. So at a certain level, it fills the water automatically. So it's pretty self contained. Um, just, you know, we have to, uh, there's a pump under there also that we just have the fil filter itself, we kind of have to clean up. And that's about it. And so they always have real wet spot, semi-wet spot, and the dry spot up there. All right, People so here like we have, them. you know, a whole row of bigger <laughs> enclosures here. Yeah, we and, haven't uh, finished it yet. We still got to paint it. Right, right. And who goes in here? No, uh, big turtles. Big like turtles. Points, let me show you. I have one fly river turtle. You gotta love the fly rivers. Yep, that's a female. So you have a female valuable. fly river? Yeah, That's I know. the first one I've yeah. seen. <laughs> right? <laughs> Do you have any males? I could get mail like yeah. free from anywhere. Yeah. You, just, need, to, yeah, you so need to be producing. This is ever. like 35 years old. So guys, this is an amazingly huge zoo already, just this portion of it, but this portion is only the Chelonians. We haven't even seen the lizard section yet. Okay, so this is the lizard section over here. Right. Well, lizard and and we're gonna have some snakes in here too. You gotta. Yeah. yeah. So we have um, croc monitor up yeah, there. Yeah, I was gonna he'll say. Going into, as soon as they grow a little bit, they're going into that big cage up front. How's his temperament? Yeah. They're a He's a croc animal. monitor. Yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Animal. Australian water dragon. Now these guys. Don't miss this one. Right yeah, here. the one in the front is the male, and the one in the back is the female. You can see the head size and. Yeah. Thing. And the belly itself, when especially when they're breeding color, very bright. Yeah, red that male is gonna like, get fire engine red under I, that under that I, shit. I produce them every year, babies. I know a lot of people looking for them, so we'll. I know they them. are. <laughs> I yeah. get inundated with people wanting to look. Perfect. They tell you. They yeah. tell you where they came from. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and I think the females are. Uh, these guys kind of start um, cooling down soon. Mm -hmm. They kind of go down for about three, four months. Not that much. They're really cold tolerant. Oh yeah. Yeah, very cold tolerant. We have three woody colors because we have so many cages, we just keep them separated right now. Yep. Eventually, they're probably gonna get together. 
So you notice top portion on this is screen. You notice this on this side is all solid. So I could put in some some animals that like it more sunny. They're gonna go in here. Mm. All right. If they like it more shady, they're gonna go in this. Okay. So I built actually three different type of cages here. One that goes all the way, rock work goes all the way, and then one that's one third of the top is still screen, so they could actually come up and do a lot of, lot of uh, a basking. All right, so I see you have a big papaya tree in here, but yeah. uh, there's kind of an interesting story about how that grew. Yeah, basically we, we feed the papaya to animals, and sometimes, you know, the seed get into their stomach, and matter of fact, it, it makes them more fertile. So they poop in there and we got a papaya tree growing in there. And then you got a papaya tree growing <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah, it's accidental. But that's exactly how nature works. Don't you animals know when eat you the seeds, yeah. just walk yeah. away, disperse yep. the seeds, yep. and... So now are you going to replant this and actually grow some papayas? No, we probably, we have so many papaya trees over there. We have end and day with papaya everywhere. So before we open, either we're going to replant it or we're just going to get it. So you have a plethora yeah. of papaya? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Absolutely. It, Absolutely. And, and if they were selling this, it would be poop papaya. Poop papaya. <laughs> yeah. A plethora okay. of poop papaya. Yep, this will be papaya. So basically, we are building a zoo. That's that's most important thing. We've been breeding cycloras and tegus and iguanas, different morphs and stuff. Uh, we're going to keep working with the cycloras, right? And of course, we're gonna do a lot of uh, turtles and turtles breeding. Sure. Uh, what I wanna do, we decided not to breed tegus, obviously. So, matter of fact, we have three tegus left that we're gonna keep as maybe an exhibit animal or yeah. like an education animal. Next project that I wanna do is I want I need to find home for all my 99% of my green iguanas. All right. I'm gonna keep more some of the morphs, um, different locality but I don't need to breed green iguanas anymore. So now I probably need someone or two or three different breeders to negotiate with me and it won't be, it will be pretty inexpensive, right? And if you're interested in uh, breeding iguanas, I want them to let me know. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, yeah, have them get a hold of me by- Facebook? Thai, email Thai at iguanaland.com. That would be the best way to do it. Oh, right. And Facebook Messenger too. Yeah, we got all different kind of pectinata, banana pectinata. I've been smoke. looking for a banana pectinata. Mango for pectinata. A long time. Yeah, Pineapple yeah. Pectinata. I have. If you want um, a, a pie pectinata, I have some babies you could have. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be. Yeah. Are, are they as? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ty, have? Yeah. You made me pay for my rhino iguana. You're just gonna well, give him no, a pectinata? No, no, no. You can have. You can have another rhino iguana too, then. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> that works, out. Remember, two hundred fifty thousand followers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's the bigger. No, YouTuber. actually, <laughs> you guys could have any babies you want. We love our rhino iguana that we yeah, got from you, yeah, yeah. and he is. He's our pet. We yeah, we yeah, love him. I mean, we don't need another. But are are do. the pies as Pied, friendly as, I have, the, as the bananas? Yeah, once you get them baby, they all tame down. Okay. Now, these enclosures over here, is this going to be part of Iguana Land? Yes, or? it will be, but it will be cleaned up. These houses are temporary houses. Sure. So they have, you know, different houses. And also, uh, I plan on putting rock work first two feet on the bottom. It will be rock work all around so that they don't have this to rub. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So all these will be cleaned up. The back will be solid so that people don't see all that background back there. So we're going to be working on this next. So rock work all around, solid um, cover in the back. So you make it look very representative. Sure, sure. Yeah. And so this is all breeding center back here. Watch the... Uh, yeah. And all these will be yeah redone, obviously. This area will be redone. All right, so let's ask the question everybody in the world wants to know. Yeah. How much you got invested in the Iguana Land so far? Flat out, uh, I'm asking you. About four million. Four million? <laughs> yeah. That's twice what I kind of expected. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, everything's over. You budget something, it always goes over. Okay, absolutely. Four and million. That is, that is a serious undertaking you're doing here. Yeah, um, yeah, it is. This is behind the scene, employees only. All right, so this is where uh, all the food prep happens for Iguana Land here. So how long does it take you to feed everybody around here? Uh, it takes about maybe 20 minutes to fill one of these cups. I usually use about a half of one of these cups to fill the, uh, to do all the, the tortoises I have for the day. Um, I'll wet a whole bunch of Missouri tortoise diet. You mix it kind of in there. 
to get a whole bunch of these kind of greens and stuff like that. You mix that all in there. Veggies. Yep. So you're making a guana coleslaw is what you're basically, doing. Basically, yeah. Here. So you're taking uh, four of these. And it takes 20 minutes each. So we're talking about about an hour and a half to chop four tubs. Wow. And to feed, about four hours uh, time feeding all the iguanas. Eventually, I'm going to put in, in this pad, there'll be 10 foot by 140 foot building okay and there'll be glass on both sides i'm gonna put in small cages inside so employees have a walk in the middle of the building take care of both sides of the animal and there'll be glass on that side glass on that side so um, uh, the visitors could see like for instance like uh dark frog oh uh, love uh, it leopard geckos the and animals that's going that right here small yeah so there will literally be hundred small cages in this section. And it'll be cool enough for dark frogs? It'll be air conditioned. Perfect. Matter of fact, I'm going to probably put them in a three different section, different temperature or air conditioning. That, that makes sense. sense. This, this is, is Ty. Uh, I have Clint with me today. And uh, I'm Ty the monitor. I am a female. Ty is short for Tyra. <laughs> and what kind of monitor do you have there? I Clint? have a glorious lace monitor. Look at how beautiful he is. I think I think the lace monitor is probably the best pet large monitor. They're just so expensive and difficult to come by. But if places like Iguana Land here start producing them in large numbers, life could get great for all of us. That is absolutely correct. Ty, what you're building here is beyond incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's been my dream and I'm just gonna do it. So guys, I will be down here again after Ty opens Iguana Land to show you guys this place in all of its glory. I will also be down here again for Iguana Fest 3, which is gonna happen shortly after this place is open. But right now, Clint is filming with Ty and he's gonna do a video on the top five iguanas here at Iguana Land. So I'm gonna put Clint's links in the description below. Go check out his channel and that video. And also guys, keep in mind that Ty is looking to rehome the majority of his green iguanas here. I'm gonna put his links in the description below if you are interested his iguanas also hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload and guys as always thanks for watching and until the next reptile adventure love the planet and rattle on